Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Today I'd like to do a quick comparison of the two Greenworks battery systems. This is the 80 volt system and this is the 40 volt system. Uh, first, a bit of information about how they list the voltages here. Uh, 80 volt and 40 volt are both max voltages of the batteries. They're not the nominal voltages. So for the 40 volt system, the nominal voltage is 36.5 volts. And for the 80 volt system, the nominal voltage is 72 volts. Uh, what that means is the four amp hour 40 volt system, again, 36.5 nominal, actually has a watt hour capacity of 146 watt hours. Whereas the two amp hour 80 volt has a watt hour capacity of 144 watt hours. So slightly less capacity in the 80 volt pack, but uh, it's, it's a small enough difference that it doesn't matter. The advantage of the 80 volt system versus the 40 volt system, the 80 volt system charges faster. Uh, the 80 volt two amp hour battery charges in 30 minutes and the 40 volt four amp hour battery charges in two hours. So quite a substantial difference in charging time. The 40 volt two amp hour battery charges in an hour. So uh, none of the 40 volt batteries charge as fast as the smallest 80 volt battery. There is a four amp hour version of the 80 volt battery and there's also a five amp hour version that I don't have. Um, the four amp hour version of the 80 volt battery is in exactly the same form factor as far as I know. Uh, it is just a heavier battery and it costs more. With the 40 volt system, the larger capacity batteries like the four amp hour and five amp hour batteries, uh, again, I don't have the five amp hour. As you increase the capacity of the battery, the size of the battery changes as well and they grow taller. Looking at these two batteries side by side, they are about the same height. Uh, on edge, the 80 volt battery is about a third taller than the 40 volt battery. Lengthwise, they're about the same length. One thing that I will note is that the 80 volt battery has a much more friendly button, the charge indication button there, and on the 40 volt battery, it seems like one of those, those buttons that's covered with plastic so that you can get it wet or something, and it's much more difficult to press and uh, a little hard to find. And I also have a hard time reading the LEDs, whereas with the 80 volt system, the LEDs are, are very clear. However, I will note that I prefer the four LEDs on the 40 volt system versus the three LEDs on the 80 volt system. I feel like the 80 volt system almost approaches idiot light status uh, because you'll have a perfectly serviceable battery and uh, you know, that's actually giving you charge. And when you press this button, uh, none of the lights show up. Whereas with the um, 40 volt system, I feel, like, I feel like you have a much more informative range of charge capacity. However, I guess overall, I prefer the 80 volt uh, button because I feel like I can press that with gloved hands and uh, it's easier to use. The 40 volt system, the uh, release mechanism is built into the battery and with the 80 volt system, the release mechanism is actually built into the tool. I find that I prefer the 80 volt system's release mechanism. Uh, usually the buttons are very wide and they're large enough to be pressed with a gloved hand. The 40 volt system, I feel like the, the buttons are a little difficult to, to grab. My kids and everyone else that I've shown this, this system to uh, usually have a hard time finding the release button. After you explain it to them, they get it and it's not a big deal, but uh, I feel like the 80 volt system's a little more ergonomically friendly. I have a chart that I will show now. And on this chart, we have a number of different columns. On the very left-hand side is the max voltage. This is the marketed voltage of the system. Uh, the column next to it is the nominal voltage. So this is the actual voltage of the battery. Amp hours is the third column and watt hours is the fourth column. Now this is a calculation. We, in order to get the watt hours, we multiply the nominal voltage times the number of amp hours. Also on each battery, the watt hours are listed on the batteries. So for this battery, it says 144 watt hours. 
and for this battery it says 146 watt hours, and for this battery it says 73 watt hours. Uh, the charging rate column is a sort of a guesstimate. Uh, I did perform a number of charge tests. I, I charged these 40 volt batteries up with solar. I have recorded one such charging session and then I've just eyeballed the other ones. It is a curve, so the battery may start off charging at a lower wattage and then ramp up to a higher wattage and then come back down to a lower wattage again over the course of the whole charging cycle. Uh, the 80 volt batteries seem to charge at uh, between 390 and 420 watts. So if you want to charge these with solar or with a generator, you need at least a you know, 450 or 500 watt inverter for the 80 volt system. And for the 40 volt system, you'll do fine with a 300 watt inverter. Uh, maybe even a smaller inverter, but 300 watt is about as small as I like to go. During charging, the 40 volt system tends to get fairly hot, uh, almost disturbingly so. I really don't like how hot the batteries get. There isn't a fan for the, uh, the charger. The 80 volt system, on the other hand, stays cool at all times. There is a, a fairly large fan on the charger and it appears to blow through these slots in the battery. Uh, which does a, a good job of keeping the battery cool. The 80 volt system charger is much louder than the 40 volt system charger uh, because of the fan. Though the 40 volt system um, does have a bit of a whine to it sometimes. Quick noise comparison test, 40 volt Greenworks charger on the left, 80 volt Greenworks charger on the right. Let's do the 40 volt first. Two red lights means that it's charging. I hear a little bit of a whine, but it's almost inaudible, especially from behind the camera. Next, let's do the 80 volt Greenworks charger. Yep. One of the nice things about electric battery systems is that they can be charged via a variety of sources. Uh, all of these can obviously be plugged into the wall. Uh, I have personally solar charged the 40 volt system and uh, I could charge the 80 volt system with my solar generator, but it's more convenient for me to charge it down in the basement. My, my solar generator is up here on the first floor of the house and uh, it, you know, it's just more steps to, to walk up the stairs. So I usually charge this with uh, grid power. But I could charge it with solar if I wanted to, and I like, I like having that capability. Um, I also have a Yamaha EF2000IS generator. That's a 2000 watt generator, and uh, it has a, an economy mode. And I could charge all of these batteries in economy mode. And so in economy mode, that generator runs for between eight and 10 hours on a single tank of gasoline. So. You know, if you're using a generator like that that's fuel efficient, uh, you can get some pretty decent uh, fuel economy out of a gasoline generator with electric power tools, cordless electric power tools. I guess at that point it's almost like you've got a hybrid car. It's kind of interesting. Uh, just a quick note here that the generator is indeed in economy mode. I believe this is the economy mode switch here. Yeah, that's off. And that's on. So it does indeed charge these in economy mode. That's nice. The, uh, the weight column in this chart is taken from the Amazon shipping weights. So uh, it, it may not be the actual weight of the batteries themselves. There might be packing materials there or they might be estimates. Um, to my mind, You know, the 4 amp hour 40 volt and the 2 amp hour 80 volt seem like almost exactly the same weight. So uh, you can, you can kind of use that as a, an estimated guide if you'd like. All right, that's it. Uh, if you have any additional questions about these batteries, please feel free to let me know down in the comments down below the video. I usually respond pretty quickly. I tried to cover everything that I could think of, but in case I missed something, please let me know. If you like this video, go ahead and mash that like button. 
I do have links to all of these batteries and chargers down below the video in the description. Please check that out if you're interested in picking up any of these. I also have a few links to the power tools associated with the batteries. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.